Hey, what's up everyone? All right, I got my shipment in from, I think it was reeftoreef.com, um, copepods and ampipods. I ordered a thousand, got a thousand free. So let's see what we got. And I should probably make this quick because I don't think I really have much space on my phone. Um, so if it cuts out, well, that sucks. I have not opened this yet. Some, okay, this just, to say reefstogo.com. Before you open your box, well, it's kind of cool. It tells you how to secure things, how to acclimate them. Uh, oh, sure, I need a Now you can scale it, the size. I guess it doesn't matter how big the cardboard box is. It matters how many copepods are in there. And I'm going to count every single one. Well, I wonder how much they, how much extra, you know, maybe I'm going to get. You know, I, I don't know the selection of how they actually count these things, but okay, heat pack. We're in Texas and time out, so you know, I think that will be needed. Okay. Oh, wow, check this out. So, there's four bags here. There's like little pieces of plant matter. Tons of freaking bugs in here. I don't know if those are dead or not. I'd imagine there would have to be some dead guys. So inside there's like uh, wool almost. Like, or like filter floss, something like that. A couple pieces of like plant matter or whatnot. So they could have a snack or something, I don't know. Um, I thought on the website said something about like an acclimation period of two hours. Oh, there's a little crabby. Huh. I don't think I... Did I order a crab? No, I don't believe so. Hopefully he's a good crab. Hmm. What's it? Maybe it's like an emerald crab or something. Um, I'm going to check out the website and see what the acclimation period is. I thought they said something about two hours. Of course, I always get shipments. It's 3.57 in the afternoon. <laughs> and I have work. Wow. These are nice. They're cute. And you know what? You know, these are the, just the ones you kind of see. There has to be some very small guys in the, the filter floss. And I could just kind of put that somewhere like in my refugium or something like that. Mug it out. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm catching a cold. I might have to call him to work. Okay, maybe that's not going to work out. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to go to the website, read up on things, and um, I'm going to put a couple of the bags up in the display and in the refugium. I, I thought there were a thousand each bag, so I was going to put one in one, but since there's four bags, I might do one in the refugium and the rest in the display. Um, just because of refugium, I got all that macroalgae last week for free from someone. There was tons of pods. I put a, a bottle of Tigger pods in there and uh, like another small bag that my Aleph has had of, um, of some pods that were almost free. They were very cheap, but there wasn't a lot of movement in there. Whether or not there were some eggs in there or, you know, at least a couple that had been 
reproducing and having fun and uh, dropping eggs. Um, but whatever, you know, kind of looking in the, there is a lot of life down there, but uh, I really don't have a point. My stories really don't go anywhere for the most part. So, um, you know, I only have one fish in here. It is a yellow watchman goby. You know, of course, he'll chomp on these things. Um, but um, my, my light cycle is kind of reversed from everyone else because I work third shift. So my lights turn on at 2 in the afternoon and kind of warm up and go off on uh, like about midnight and then turn to moonlights. I have work tonight, the next night, the next night. So maybe when I get home from work in the morning, you know, I'll be 8 in the morning or so, I can start acclimating them in, my lights will be off, maybe my fish will be sleeping, you won't eat so many, but, okay, so that's it, you saw the bags, you saw the copepods, and uh, I'm going to get things started, alright, thanks for watching.